one of the most common questions in accounting is which of the financial statements is the most important? That is an excellent question, and I will tell you, it really depends on what kind of business decision you're trying to make. If you're looking at inventory, something related to inventory, you might want to focus on the balance sheet rather than other ones. Of course, income statement has cost of goods sold as well, which deals with inventory. So again, it depends on what you're looking at, what specific type of question or issue. Now, I will say, in general, the balance sheet, I, in my opinion, is the most important. And the reason why it's the most important is not because it has the most important information or it provides the most accurate description of a company or understanding of a company. It's because of the different financial statements, it's the financial statement that has the most items hidden within it with where without understanding these financial statements, you will be lost or you will be confused about items. So the balance sheet, it has so many different types of assets, liabilities, owner's equity and stockholder's equity. Of course, we know it's a snapshot, it's a snapshot in time, taking a picture, but it provides a lot of information about a lot of different things with respect to the business. There's also lots of footnotes when it comes to the balance sheet that provide information about the balance sheet. There's footnotes in the other financial statements as well, but there's a lot when it comes to the balance sheet. Now, the best way to understand the balance sheet is to start on the asset side and go from the top to the bottom in order of liquidity. The balance sheet is listed in order of liquidity. And at the top of assets, we're starting with assets, is cash. Cash is the most liquid of all the assets and cash is king. That's of course why I'm wearing this outfit and I've got my crown. It's important you start in the order of liquidity, starting with cash and going down the line. Cash, marketable securities, accounts receivable, inventory, property plan equipment, which of course is broken down as, as well within that category. Then you move over to liabilities and owner's equity or stockholder's equity. But again, we always start with cash because that is the most liquid. So always remember that cash is king. 